Are you buying a home and your next step is a home inspection? Well, then this video is for you. Hi, Samantha Perlman here with the Perlman Property Group. And if you're buying a home and your next step is the home inspection, I've made this great video to give you as the buyer some great tips. Now, if you don't know what a home inspection is, I have another video just about that topic and I've linked it below. Be sure to check that one out. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Now, if you're buying a home, your next step in the process might be a home inspection. You might be asking yourself, do I really need a home inspection? And from my perspective as a realtor, my answer is always gonna be yes. Purchasing a home is one of the biggest investments that you are ever going to make. It is a lot of money on the line, and regardless of how much the home inspection costs, it is extremely important that you take the um, opportunity to do this part of the due diligence for you, to protect you as the home buyer. Now, some of you might be purchasing an as-is property. Now you might be saying, do I really need a home inspection as is? I already know if any defects come up, the seller's not going to repair that. And then my answer is still going to be yes. Now, if you're gonna be purchasing this home, even though the seller says they're not going to repair any defects, don't you wanna know what all the defects are? You see here in New Jersey, you have the right to do a home inspection, even if it's for information purposes. And let's say something major comes up at the home inspection, something you didn't expect, like a major foundation issue that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Doing that home inspection and finding that out ahead of time before you close gives you the opportunity to evaluate whether or not you really want to move forward and still purchase the property with this known issue. Now certainly even though the seller is not going to repair it, if you find this issue and you decide this isn't the house for me, you still have the chance to opt out of the contract and not close. You see, once you close, that problem becomes your problem. Don't you want to know what that defect is ahead of time? Now certainly if you're purchasing a, a home from a traditional seller in the traditional sense, if any defects do come up um, during your home inspection, you certainly have the right to negotiate them with the homeowner. Now here in New Jersey, technically all resale homes are being sold as is. There are no warranties or guarantees, but certainly if anything comes up during the home inspection, then you certainly have the right to discuss that with the seller. See if they're willing to repair or replace it, or maybe offer you a credit so that you can repair or replace that item after closing. Now the first piece of advice I give all of my buyers before their home inspection is no home is perfect not even a new construction home is perfect. There are always going to be some defects that the inspector is going to find. They might be minor, they might be major, but they're going to find something. So as long as you know that going in, you have the right mindset that no home is going to be perfect. And I understand a lot of first time home buyers, this sort of startles them when they f start to find stuff, but I assure you it is perfectly normal. One of the common questions I get from my buyers is, do I need to be there for the home inspection? Yes. I always say yes. You see, when you attend the home inspection, it really gives you an opportunity for a few things. Number one, it gives you an opportunity to see the home again. A lot of times when you're at this point under contract, you've only seen the home once, maybe twice, before you made the decision to purchase it. This is gonna give you a little bit more time in the home, really exploring it and making sure that you're seeing all the wonderful things that you fell in love with. It's also gonna give you an opportunity to walk around the home with the home inspector. Now, a really great home inspector will actually point out things that are going to be important to you as the homeowner. For example, like where is the gas shut off? Where is the water shut off? A good home inspector will also be able to talk you through all of the defects that they're finding as they're finding them. They'll be able to tell you what is minor and normal wear and tear and regular maintenance on the home versus what could be a major issue, what needs to be explored further, and what could cost you a lot of money down the road if not repaired now by the seller or you shortly after closing. So it's really important that you get that firsthand um, from the inspector directly when you're there and you could be looking at it with your own eyes along with the home inspector. It also gives you an opportunity to ask 
follow-up questions about whatever, whatever this defect is to get a little better understanding and background on it. Now, whether you attend the home inspection or not, after the um, home inspection is completed, usually within a few days, the inspector is going to provide you with an inspection report. Now, the other piece of advice I always give my buyers is do not panic if the report is 50 pages. It does not mean that the house needs to be knocked out. I promise. A lot of stuff in the report is what I call filler stuff. So a lot of it is gonna be disclosures that are, are there to protect the home inspector, and it's gonna be tips and advice on further inspections that are going to be necessary and warranted. Now, you're gonna see a lot of times that they'll evaluate the electrical, they'll say the electrical is fine, and then they'll say, but we recommend getting inspected by a licensed electrician. They're always going to say that because it's going to protect them as the home inspector that they told you you have the right to do further inspection. So don't panic when you see this. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's a major issue. Just know that you always have the right to have further investigations. The other part of the filler, and it depends on every home inspector and, and how they set up the reports, is how many pictures they took and how large those pictures are on the page. I kid you not, I've seen 50 page reports where every page had one picture and there are about 25 of them. So that really could lengthen the report. So again, I don't want you to panic if you have a super long report. On the flip side, if you get a super short report, that doesn't mean there's no issues. It just means that the home inspector might have a more efficient way of setting up their report. And regardless whether it's short or long, you as the buyer, when you receive the report, it's really important that you thoroughly look through it and make sure that you know all of the defects that are called out, you remember, or there might be something in there that you forgot about. Feel free to follow up uh, with the home inspector on any questions you have about the report. That's perfectly okay and perfectly normal. Now that you've attended the home inspection and received your home inspection report, now's the time to determine whether or not you're gonna be asking for repairs, replacements, or credits from the seller. Now, one thing I always like to discuss with my buyers as they're going through and determining these items is really think about what is going to be a deal breaker for you. What repair or defect are you willing to take on after closing and what is just truly beyond the scope of what you're willing to take on or pay for after closing. You need to think about those things as you're negotiating because what happens quite frequently is a buyer will send a list of repairs to the seller. Let's say there's 10 items on there. The chances of the seller actually agreeing to all 10 items is pretty rare. So you have to understand that this is another round of negotiation. So be prepared for some of those items to really come off the list and for it to go back and forth. And again, if you know what your deal breaker is, then you know at what point you're willing to walk away if it doesn't make sense or a solution can't be um, had between both sides. Now here's a bonus tip I always share with my buyers where we're at this part of the process, the negotiation of the home inspection. If we have a situation where us as the buyer side really negotiated the seller's down quite a bit off their list price and you really got a steal on this property, the chances of you being able to get a huge long list of repairs agreed upon from the seller are pretty slim. I've seen it happen, but it's not frequently. So I like to prepare my buyers for this. You know, you certainly can ask for whatever you wanna ask for, you have the absolute right to do that. But if you really beat them up on price in the beginning, and then you ask for a ton of repairs and the seller says no or no to most of them, at least now you're mentally prepared. And again, you're armed with that, you know, uh, deal breaker list. Another thing I like to talk to my buyers about, especially in the market that we're having right now, which is kind of crazy. We have multiple offers happening all the time on all different properties, and that's driving the home prices up. So a lot of times, if a buyer actually has to go over asking for um, the price of the home or the purchase price of the home to win the deal against, let's say, nine other offers, they think to themselves, they're gonna use the home inspection to get that price back down. You know, to negotiate a credit, you know, of, of that extra $5,000, and they're gonna get that back. 
Well, I'm here to tell you that that just might not happen. What you pay and the purchase price is one aspect and your home inspection is another. Now, the seller holds some leverage in that situation that you might wanna consider as well. You see, they had nine other offers from those other buyers. And if you're gonna to try to beat them up on the price during home inspection, well, then they have the chance to say no and walk away and go and move forward with one of those other buyers. So you have to ask yourself, are you willing to lose this house that is absolutely perfect for you and your family to play a little game at home inspection? Again, you want to think about what is your deal breaker. You see, finding a home and making the decision to purchase it is emotional, but the home inspection really needs to be viewed and decided upon as a business decision. I hope you found this video helpful as a home buyer. If you want to watch other videos about real estate here in New Jersey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified of new videos released every Monday. Happy home inspection.